Okay, here we have my iMac G3. I got it for 10 bucks. Yes, but it didn't have an operating system on it. And it had flash over RAM, so. I bumped it up. It's got, well, I'm going to. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM, swap out the hard drive. Um, and yeah, just to tell you, this, all iMac G3s are not crappy. A lot of them are three, four hundred megahertz. This is a six hundred megahertz that they made in the summer of 2001. It's one of the special editions. So for ten bucks, I'm pleased. Came with a 40 gig in it, so for ten bucks, I could use it for parts. He's got another one. I'm gonna get that, build it, sell it on eBay. Okay, here you see the back. There's your RAM that you could just take out here, but I'm gonna take off the covers anyway. Oh, there's my airport card too in there. And uh. Here you see, there's usually a lot of screws. I don't use all of them. I think they're unnecessary, but I use four here, three here, and one here. Okay. Screws, screws, screws. This computer has so many screws. They're really unnecessary for all of them. I mean, it's a cool design the way Apple designed it, especially back then. Not a bad design. I would have just done a few things differently. Uh, oh. Okay. So. Okay. You'll you'll see the back will wobble a little bit. You have to. Let me get this screw out so I don't lose that one. This one one's actually need. You gotta wiggle it a little bit. A little bit of a snap. More than a, you should hear a snap, not a crack. Uh, okay. Now, I think this is. It's called a heat shield. I think I'm not really sure. I don't need it, but I, I only have two screws holding that in. That's all you really need, because that holds it basically on. But um, one here. Well, this is where they're supposed to go. One goes here. One goes here. One here, one here, and then two here. And I just use the two on top. A little bit more. You're going to have to use a little bit of force to take that off. Not on you, but just enough. Okay, here we have the inside of the iMac. Here's my airport card. Airport. That mine, it doesn't really unhook, so I'm, I just leave it there. Okay, here's the RAM. Set that aside. Okay, now I'll show you how to take out the hard drive. We'll swap it for whatever. Ribbon cable. These are the only thing that I really say you need the screws for. The hard drive. That's one thing you definitely should have. Yes, I just threw a screw across my room. There it is. Here's my hard drive. This is. Yeah, I have my 40 gig in here. It's got Panther on it. Make sure always have your jumper set, right? Okay. Basically, I'll just. I'm not gonna take off the logic board. That's. Should I? No. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of time consuming. And... Just line the screws up. Sometimes you'll have to just lift it, lift the hard drive itself up a little bit, not too much. Okay. Yeah. 
actually going to use an extra shoe this time, because I don't plan on taking them apart for a month. Actually, no, I'm just going to use two. Screw. Okay. And now, the ramp. Two, six, five, twelve. I put it in backwards. I did it. Did I do it again? Yeah. Am I good with the? Uh, oh, I might as well. I should probably connect those first. Ring cable. Power cable. I don't have that good of luck with RAM, so... There it is. Which one? Why? Okay. Okay, here's... Let's get your M my airport card. Just clicks in there. Uh, I don't think there's really much more to it. Oh, well, what I'm gonna do okay, is this, this heat shield or whatever it is. This fooled me the first time. It took me about a half hour to figure out what I did wrong. This is what I did. Oh, there's actually four more screws here. I should probably put them back in, but I'm not gonna. Because it's not really going anywhere. It's not my notebook. Okay. This, see that little cup there? That's for the model report. So it's got to dip in. And just like taking it, just like taking it off, it takes a little bit of force to. Yeah, really, I don't think, I'll probably get comments on this saying, you need screws, and I'll be like, no, screw you. Okay, here's the heat sink. Okay. Now we got the plastic shield. Oh, I'll just show you in case some people, if their door falls off. Yeah, this door. You don't need it, but it's good. Spill something or something. Okay, you see on there, you see how there's those little, uh, nuts? Those? And on there, there's a little, I'm probably using the wrong words, but divots that come out. And they basically connect. Push that over. And there's your door. This thing just turns. Okay. This thing just... You gotta line it up front. It's not lined up in the front, it'll mess it up. Nope. I'm in trouble this time. There it is. See? It's all lined up. No gaps. Okay, now for the necessary screws. And then put the screwdriver there. I'm not sure, I might run out of memory in my camera, but if I do, i just have one last screw after this. Usually it would take a lot longer to put in screws, but I don't use them. And okay, we are done. There's the door I just broke. No big deal, they're made to pop right off and pop back on. It's alright.